Konnichiwa, guys. All right, we are looking at our next line of hiragana, and that is the H line today. So let's have a little review of what we've already done. Say them along with me, please. We've got A, I, U, E, O. The K line is Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. The S line is Sa, Shi, Su, Se, So. The T line, careful of the little exceptions here, there's Ta, Chi, Tsu, Te, To. Last week we had the N line was Na, Ni, Nu, Ne, No. Today we're doing the H line. There's one little exception with the pronunciation. Just listen carefully as I read you the H line. It's Ha, He, Fu, He, Ho. Okay, we'll look at those in more detail just now. All right, so here is the ha. Please say ha. And the clue for this one is that it looks a lot like our keg for keg, keg, keg. But this keg has a hole in it. So all of the beer or wine or whatever was in the keg is going to run out onto the floor and make a big, big mess. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so it's ha for ha, ha, ha. There's a hole in the keg. Ha for ha ha ha. All right. The next one is he. Okay. Looks like a great big smiley mouth. Yep, that's the clue. So it's he for he he he. He for he he he. So careful. We had ha for ha ha ha, and he. For he he he, so we don't want to get those two mixed up. The he and the ha. <clears throat> All right, now the next one has a slightly different pronunciation, so just look and listen carefully. So we would think this would be who. Ha he who. It's not quite who, it's between who, like who are you, and food, like food. But it's in between those. So when you say food, food, say it a few times and notice where are your teeth on your lips when you say food, food, food. It's weird when you do it a few times, but you start to notice things you don't normally notice. That your teeth have to press on your lips when you're saying food, food. Like they really press over the lips quite a bit, food. With the Japanese f sound, it's much softer than that, and your teeth are just going to touch more of the inside of your lips. It goes fu, fu. So it's not hu. We are using our teeth just to gently touch our lips, but not as much as food, fu. A gentle little fu sound, okay? So this is um, the clue for this one is that it looks a bit like a mountain. Okay, it's got the sort of triangular shape and the tallest mountain in Japan is Mount Fuji and it's actually a dormant volcano. So the clue for this one is a good one. It's Fu Fu Fuji. Fu Fu Fuji or Mount Fuji. Okay. The next one is a nice simple one line hiragana and this is He. He. And it looks a bit like an arrow that's pointing up to heaven. Okay? He, he, heaven. He, he, heaven. And the last one is ho. Does it look, look a little bit similar to one we've just done today? <clears throat> it looks very similar to ha. Ha and ho. So the difference with the ho is that it is wearing a hat. Okay? And why is it wearing a hat? Because it's very hot. Okay? We wear our hats in term one and term four when it's hot. So the hiragana with the hat on top is hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. 
So let's have a quick review of those ones. <coughs> He, he, he. He, he, heaven. He, he. Sorry, that was wrong. Ha, 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 ha. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Now the next thing that I want you to do is, as usual, you're going to trace a line, the next line in your tracing chart, so the H line there, with the right colours, and just do one character at a time, and then stop. And then, in your workbook, I want you to open up a double page, blank double page, and just imagining this is my book, and the middle of my paper is the middle of the book. You're going to divide each page into five different sections. All right, so we've got five characters that we've learned. You need five sections in your book. Um, it doesn't matter which side has two and which side has three. And then, using a black marker pen, and these are on the table with my telephone on it, um, you are going to write the hiragana, one hiragana on each section, and then using a writing pencil, you are going to draw in the picture clue, just like on the on the flashcards. It's got the nice black hiragana written, and then with the lighter grey is the picture clue. So we can put up those picture clues on the ledge so that you can see those. But if you thought, for example, you had a better clue, if you didn't like ha for ha 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 and you've got something better but it must work with the same sound ha and the picture is somehow connected to that sound ha, you're welcome to make up your own clues. Quite happy for you to be creative with that but as long as it, it works with the sound and the look of the character. Okay, and then there will be a few other activities on the whiteboard for you to go on with as well. So please, gambate kurasai, do your best, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, sayonara.